Yeah, well, inflation, Keynes said it many years ago that it, it, it's an invisible tax that only one man in a million really understands, and it's a tax on people that have had faith in their currency uh, that the government's issued. Uh, the best protection, the best investment against inflation is to improve your own earning power, you know, your own talents. Very few people maximize their talents. And if you, if you increase your talents, they can't tax it while you're doing it. They, 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 you know, they can't take it away from you. So if you, if you become more useful in your activities, your profession, you know, doctor, lawyer, whatever it may be, uh, that is the best protection against a currency that might decline at a rapid rate. And, and uh, uh, the best investment, passive investment, I, I think, is, is, is a good business. Uh, if you own an interest in a good business, uh, you're very likely to maintain purchasing power no matter what happens to the currency. But uh, uh, it's, it's interesting. In the United States, uh, what, what, uh, the, the value of the dollar since I was born has declined by 94% to six cents. Uh, so inflation, uh, is a very cruel tax on people who believe in fixed dollars, but things can work out pretty well even during inflationary times. I mean, if somebody told me when I was born, you know, that the dollar bill is going to go to six cents, I might have, I might have said, you know, let me go, let me go back. I'm not, I'm not interested in emerging into that kind of a world. But actually, it's worked out pretty well, so I, I have no complaints. <laughs>